Hey guys, Josh, uh, how are you all doing? Are you all well? Great. Uh, so I realised that I completely forgot to do uh, my drum video this week. Pity just because I'm in so busy with work. Been doing more over time, training harder, working longer, and um, I completely forgot to do videos that I was speaking to you all about. As you can see, it's a bitterly cold morning and I'm on my way to work. Lovely countryside sort of setting here in Birmingham. Uh, so yeah, I was going to talk to you genuinely um, about things in my life, uh, inspirations, and let's keep up walking with dogs and I'm not used to doing this in proper labels if you're not here. So yeah, uh, inspiration has gone on for absolutely days about it. So I'm just going to give like, uh, I would say, a brief insight to the life of, well, almost like the history of my music. Originally Richard from Ramstein uh, was essentially the main reason that I actually picked up a guitar. Morning. As I say, here was the main reason I picked up the guitar. And, you know, very humble beginnings, I would say, you know, my... A little known brand with ESP guitars. And then I bought my first ESP, it was only a 200 quid one. It wasn't very good, if I'm honest. And I was awful when I started to play. I was absolutely awful. I didn't even know how to do a bloody power chord. Anyway, you know, obviously then, you know, when I've been listening to Metallica and things like that, James Hetfield definitely started to have more of an influence. And even now I notice when I want to write music, a lot of the riffs that I write are thrashy Metallica riffs. Some does and really like Master for a bit sort of era. Now, within sort of, the, I would say the last two or three years, uh, when, once I've come across Rob Chapman, as you all know from Dorje, uh, Andertons, he's obviously his own signature guitar brand line. He, he has been the person that's changed a lot of everything for me. Uh, due to the fact that I think obviously he put a lot of lessons online, the mannerisms of which he, you know, he plays guitar and he does things, which is what's inspired me to, you know, to sort of be doing this sort of thing. I've been paying attention to Dorje videos and watching Rob Chapman play and I had the wonderful pleasure of meeting him in November when they were on the new Centred and One tour. Uh, I think Centred and One being out the VP, which by the way is absolutely phenomenal. I would highly recommend it. And managed to meet him and Rabia and it, I was like a giggling little schoolgirl. It was an absolute dream come true in, term, in terms of things to me. And he was such a lovely down-to-earth guy. And Rob gave me one of the best hugs I've ever been given in my life. Um, you know, he, like I said, he changed the way I looked at the guitar and I looked at the fretboard and I looked at the notes. And really helped me. Morning. And... Uh, the other person that's been a massive help was uh, a friend of mine called Craig. Hello Craig, if you're watching this. And he, uh, when I was back doing a tri uh, in the tribute band, I was in a Ramstein tribute band. So the videos really shake and so I'm just recording it on my phone. And I have to keep swapping hands because it is so cold out here this morning. As you can see there is frost everywhere. I mean, the country started wrapped up warm, golf course over there. And uh, I wasn't necessarily really a learned guitar player. I could play a little bit of solos and 
I could play chords and all this, that and the other, but I didn't know what I was playing, if, you know, if that makes sense. You know, I could play a bit of a solo. I could be playing 12, 14, 15 on the E string, but I wouldn't know what those notes were. I wouldn't know what key I was in, what scale I was doing. I still have, I don't have a full knowledge, but I have a rough idea of what I'm doing which is better than what it used to be. And that's obviously really helped me now also I understand that with the open string and the 12th fret on every string is a different set of notes. And then if, you, if you're lucky enough to have a 24th fret guitar, then that series of notes just repeats itself on the way down. So that, you know, that was... This is a really odd flattering angle, isn't it? Mm. Oh. I wish they'd probably cross with me. This is horrible. Politics of you here starting to hear a lot of cars going past now as I'm starting to get to uh, a main road. So you're probably thinking, so John, you're doing a music blog about um, guitars. And you're walking to work, why aren't you playing guitar? Well, one, because carrying a guitar to work would be stupid. Well, it wouldn't be stupid, but it would look stupid looking down the road playing a big, massive Gibson Flying V. It wouldn't look weird. But thanks to the Marvel's the video editing and production, I can easily do this. I may just sit them in here and there, on the start maybe if you're lucky. Of course really I am filming this before I make the guitar videos, so I don't know what I'm going to put at the start at the end of it, so yeah. We're just going to do it as it on the fly. So yeah, I mean also I would love to know people that are watching this, it's probably only Three or four viewers watching me. Who wants to watch this face for you? Oh, look, pretty golf course. Still in the countryside. So much. It's a long walk to work. So, yeah, I'm, you know, obviously, for any people that are watching this, I would love to know what your inspirations are, who you look up to, what's, what got the ball rolling for you in playing guitar. Oh, yes, something else I wanted to talk about. Obviously, the biggest part in any guitar fans life, any musicians, okay? Winter Nam 2017. Initial uh, reaction and thoughts. Obviously, being a fan of Rob Chapman and the Chapman guitar range, I love, absolutely love what they have now done with the new range. It looks like they've you know, no, no offence to Chapman and Chapman guitars. Uh, when you know, obviously when they first started out with the guitars, a lot of them were very, you know, they were very sort of the, they were playing. I want to say basic because the money you were paying, you were getting a very, some very, very good guitars. This is the ML threes, uh, absolutely stunning, especially with the natural body types. And obviously, as things started to grow a little bit more, and then moved. To, I think that the ghost spread with a nice little cap on it. Very, very nice. Now you can see that being transferred to all of the other guitars uh, with the new MLVs. The MLVs look stunning. And it makes me wish that I would have waited to get uh, to get one instead of getting the V that I've got now. Uh, again, you can see it looks like they've got a flame maple cap on the top of them, which looks absolutely terrific and the uh, satin purple I think it was you can quite tell from the colour in the photo but really really nice uh, the ghost fret I mean the ghost fret is a guitar I'm looking to purchase in the future whether it's the near future long term future I have no idea and I was looking and now the uh, satin blue with like a white in the middle if I, if it's a sunburst and that is 
Um, so I think that's taking the fancy of the new BS jigs. Look beautiful. Oh look, more countryside. And a pylon. Thanks electricity. Uh, ESB guitars. Oh, I think again, that's another brand that I I follow quite well. I mean, the amount of ESPs I've had in the past are ridiculous. I had a 250NT, I had a 200 cut of maple. I've obviously had my eyes okay. Ooh, lots of cars coming. Time to run away. Um, I had Chuckster, I had an MH1000, an M300, uh, a KHV30, uh, quite a lot of guitars in the past. Um, yeah, it's the new ESP guitars, right? So, you know, they haven't added much, if I'm frankly honest. Uh, it was awesome to see Hetfield's original of Wolf and Man guitar, that looked really nice to see. And I really liked um, the Kirk Hammett Demonology Signs guitar, I thought that was very nice. Um, but actually, the standout for the 256, the EC256, the, uh, I think it was like a trans, a trans silver blue, I'm not, I can't quite remember what the name of the actual colour was, but it looked, it looked like a two grand Gibson, obviously I live in Queen's England land, it looked like a two grand Gibson price, for the price of £500. Yes, it looks brilliant. Some of the new Schecters are really nice. I like the fact that they've added the Apocalypse series with the, uh, the Sustainiac on it. And they've also got the, I can't remember the name of the series, but they've got their Strat style. And again, they've put uh, a Sustainiac in there, which I think is really nice. It's nice to see some guitars adding the Sustainiac to them. Um, yeah, definitely a more affordable range. Obviously, it caters to people that like doing their sinister gate styles, you know, dive bombs and screws. Or if you're a Matt Bellamy kind of news, I know he uses a Sustainiac quite a lot of the time. I can't tell you what the next video in this series is going to be because, to be honest, I have absolutely no idea. I will probably just something will crop up and I'll just do it on the fly. So yeah. I forgot when I was filming earlier, I'm currently working on, I might have touched on it uh, in the previous video. I am actually currently working on a side project, um, a small EP. Um, a small EP is going to have lots of different elements in it. A lot of thrash, a lot of industrial. If you know, sort of synthy tracks, and you know, there's going to be more, more progressive sort of material. I don't think, I don't think I'm blurt. It's going to be something really good, I'm hoping. Um, the first song is going to be called Dedicate. Um, I've already written the vocals for it. Um, I've got a friend in America who I'm going to collaborate on this with. You'll be able to check out his band here called Affinity. And I'll also put the links in the description below. You'll be able to check them out, check out his Instagram as well. Very, very good, talented photographer, photographer very good guitarist as well. Um, he's going to be singing on uh, Dedicate. I'm going to be obviously doing the guitars. And I'll be unfortunately, don't have anyone at the moment to currently draw them on the project band, but if you, if you wish, be in, if you would be interested in featuring in this collaboration, please feel free to drop me a message and I'm sure we can get under some, some talk on the way and talk ideas and how I, you know how I would like the drums in that to go. So yeah. Well, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. Enjoying the cold brisk weather with me. As I'm nearly a workman. So Take care everyone, all the best, and until then, I'll see you soon.